lo que ve un astronauta desde el espacio. Cosas fantásticas que cualquier hombre en la Tierra desearía ver. This is the coast of Namibia in southwestern Africa, uh, the very dry desert coast of the Namib Desert. You can see a cloud band uh, butting up against the shore and some straight sand dunes in the lower left of the picture. Yeah, those are big red sand dunes that the astronauts say is one of the most beautiful sights that you can get when you're flying. Coming into the view on the left is, a, is an impact crater uh, right in the middle of the picture right about now and some wind streaks. We know where this area is because it's a bit unique. We've got a, a major dune field coming into the picture on the left there. The uh, Oriental uh, Sand Sea as it's called in French and on the top is the Isawan Sand Sea. This is the island of Sicily uh, with cloud over Mount Etna, so you can't quite tell that there's a big volcano in the middle of the picture right now. And there's the toe of the boot of Italy coming into the picture from the left. See a good example of sun glint on the right with the sea reflecting the sun. This is the smooth east coast of uh, the Kamchatka Peninsula again. As you move inland, it gets maybe even more striking as a picture because of all the volcanoes on this peninsula and the, uh, the snowy mountains. There's a volcano just coming into the picture on the top left there. You can see a little knob-shaped feature. Here is a smaller finger of land in China sticking into the Pacific Ocean. In winter you can see all the snow lower left. This is called the Tsingtao Peninsula, we recognize it. And again the sun glint point moving along the coast, upper center. Uh, in a very clear picture, Zagros Mountains with snow on them in Iran, the country of, in the country of Iran. Here we have the north coast of Australia and Carpen, the Gulf of Carpentaria and some islands. Uh, the biggest island at the bottom of the screen there is Groot Island, which means the big island in Dutch. When you see a, a huge, powerful feature like this, the astronauts do shoot them a lot. And we have had some detailed views looking right down the eye looking at the eye wall, in fact, and even looking, even I seem to remember, uh, views of um, breaking waves on the sea surface at the bottom of the eye. Amazing detail. Look at this neat picture of um, Great Salt Lake in Utah. And the, uh, the variation in color? Is that's, that's due to an, an almost complete blockage of the circulation of the lake by a trestle for a railroad that crosses from one side to the other. Stops the circulation and things get saltier and a little bit, uh, yes, certainly saltier at the north end of the lake. Here you see two circles coming into the top of the view now. Uh, these are either volcanoes or, or um, effects from inside the Earth producing circular features. Uh, we think this is the Big Bend area of uh, uh, Texas. This is a, an interesting sideways view of the uh, peninsula of Florida with the keys stretching out into the lowest part of the picture there. 
and the shallow seas around the Bahama Islands, top right. And Cuba coming into the picture, lower right. And this, I believe, is the coast of uh, northern Chile in South America. It's a very straight coast, except for that strange headland out to the top right just disappearing. And so the desert is this uh, the first part of the inland zone. And then you see much blacker at the top of the picture uh, the Andes Mountains with some many dozens of volcanoes. And Here is a thunderhead, uh, the typical look of the thunderheads big rainstorms that develop over the Amazon Basin. And another one coming in top right. Here's an obviously a major river. And there's an even bigger one coming into the picture on the right. That looks to me like the, could well be the Amazon River with one of its big tributaries on the left and the flow would seem to be from the bottom of the picture to the top. El mito de la muralla china, viéndose desde el espacio, es falso. La distancia es demasiado grande como para que este enorme muro sea visible en las cámaras de la NASA. Sin embargo, hay otras cosas que pueden verse, e incluso algunos eventos naturales o tragedias humanas que sucedieron en los últimos tiempos, son visibles desde ahí. Y por eso, en el Top Brain, te dejamos la siguiente lista. Las minas a cielo abierto son sitios donde se escarba para tomar minerales como el oro, el cobre o el uranio. Eventualmente el hoyo es tan grande y continúa expandiéndose a tal punto que puede verse desde el espacio. Son de las formas de explotación más dañinas para la tierra y es por eso que muchas personas están en contra. Las estaciones Las imágenes tomadas por la NASA revelan cómo el hielo polar se va moviendo y cómo los colores representan las diferentes estaciones. Es interesante ver cómo los océanos, Ártico y Antártico, van ganando hielo en el invierno y luego perdiéndolo en su mayoría. Incendios Debido a la magnitud de algunos incendios, son capaces de verse desde el espacio. Las enormes llamas generan cenizas y humo que son fácilmente observables. Sin embargo, incluso los incendios no demasiado grandes pueden verse y suelen ocurrir, no solo por los accidentes, sino por agricultores que lo hacen adrede. Volcanes. Las erupciones volcánicas también son fácilmente vistas desde el espacio. Por las mismas razones que los incendios, las enormes nubes de humo y ceniza se distinguen a la distancia. Muchas veces incluso el magma es observable en las fotografías. Fitoplancton. El fitoplancton es un grupo de pequeños organismos parecidos a plantas que sirven de alimento a cientos de animales. No obstante, son tan pequeños y se multiplican tan rápido que una visión certera desde la Tierra no es posible. Las fotos muestran cómo se expande por el océano. La frontera entre India y Pakistán. Estos dos países mantienen tantos conflictos que construyeron una frontera militarizada con cientos de armas y luces constantemente encendidas. A pesar de que hay zonas desérticas en el medio, la frontera permanece visible desde el espacio. Deforestación Desde el espacio, la selva del Amazonas debería verse como un cúmulo verde de árboles, tristemente con zonas marrones, donde los árboles se han perdido por completo. Al día de hoy, la deforestación es más que notoria. 
la división de la pobreza y la riqueza. Desde el espacio es muy fácil notar la diferencia entre los países ricos y los pobres. Quienes no tienen dinero suelen verse completamente oscuros por la noche, mientras que los ricos poseen mejor acceso a la energía eléctrica y por lo tanto se ven claramente en las fotografías. Y por último, el río Amazonas. Su tamaño es tan grande que no nos extraña que sea visible desde el espacio. Y en las épocas que tiene más agua, es aún más fácil encontrarle. From the left. See a good example of sun glint on the right with the sea reflecting the sun. This is the smooth east coast of uh, the Kamchatka Peninsula again. As you move inland it gets maybe even more striking as a picture because of all the volcanoes on this peninsula and the, uh, the snowy mountains. There's a volcano just coming into the picture on the top left there. You can see a little knob-shaped feature. This is the coast of Namibia in southwestern Africa, uh, the very dry desert coast of the Namib Desert. You can see a cloud band uh, butting up against the shore and some straight sand dunes in the lower left of the picture. Yeah, those are big red sand dunes that the astronauts say is one of the most beautiful sights that you can get when you're flying. This is the island of Sicily, uh, with cloud over Mount Etna, so you can't quite tell that there's a big volcano in the middle of the picture right now. And there's the toe of the boot of Italy coming into the picture. que ve un astronauta desde el espacio. Cosas fantásticas que cualquier hombre en la Tierra desearía ver. Coming into the view on the left is a is an impact crater uh, right in the middle of the picture right about now and some wind streaks. We know where this area is because it's a bit unique. We've got a, a major dune field coming into the picture on the left there. The uh, oriental Uh, sand sea, as it's called in French, and on the top is the Isawan sand sea. Lo que ve un astronauta desde el espacio. Cosas fantásticas que cualquier hombre en la Tierra desearía ver. This is the coast of Namibia in southwestern Africa, uh, the very dry desert coast of the Namib Desert. You can see a cloud band uh, butting up against the shore and some straight sand dunes in the lower left of the picture. Yeah, those are big red sand dunes that the astronauts say is one of the most beautiful sights that you can get when you're flying. Coming into
The view on the left is, a, is an impact crater uh, right in the middle of the picture right about now and some wind streaks. We know where this area is because it's a bit unique. We've got a, a major dune field coming into the picture on the left there. The uh, oriental uh, sand sea as it's called in French and on the top is the Isawan sand sea.